Right now at 5, the state's first full day of testimony has wrapped up in the alleged road rage trial of Theodore Edgecombe. He's accused of shooting and killing immigration attorney Jason Clearman near Holton and Brady Streets back in 2020. Our Stephanie Haynes was in court today. She joins us live with the details. Stephanie. Carol, the state called a number of witnesses to the stand today, including people who saw what happened that night. And on cross-examination, defense attorneys really pressed them about what exactly it was they saw. On Thursday, attorneys finished up their questions for a Milwaukee police detective. He testified he received the surveillance videos he says shows Theodore Edgecombe punch Jason Clearman in his car and shows the shooting on the Holton Street Bridge. Next, Rodrell Cameron took the stand. He testified he was driving behind the Clearmans that night on Brady Street and testified he saw Edgecombe punch through the window. He says he followed the Clearmans car and he saw Jason Clearman get out and go towards Edgecombe. Pulls the gun and then shoots the guy in the head. So a guy gets into a boxing stance and the biker does what? Pulls the gun and shoots the guy in the head. Just pulls it up and shoots him? Yep. What happens next? Then the guy hesitated. Uh, he didn't, didn't know necessarily what to do. Defense attorneys on cross-examination questioned Cameron about Edgecombe's demeanor. Would you consider the vehicle coming at Mr. Edgecombe violently? Yeah. Did it appear that Mr. Edgecombe was afraid at the time he jumped the car to get on the sidewalk? Yeah, because he fell. Did it appear that Mr. Edgecombe was afraid when he continued on onto the sidewalk? Yes. Did it appear that Mr. Edgecombe was afraid when he turned right to try to escape the exact direction of Mr. and, Mr. and Mrs. Clearman. Yes. Another witness testified he was on his work break that night when he saw the encounter on the bridge. Both witnesses say they called 911. To be clear, Rodrell Cameron was wearing orange because he was arrested for an issue about complying with his subpoena. Meantime, for the rest of the afternoon, the state called a couple of Milwaukee police officers and the last witness on the stand for the day was Dr. Kelly from the medical examiner's office. The state will pick it right back up tomorrow morning and we will be here to tell you more. For now, live in Milwaukee, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. I know you'll keep us updated. Stephanie, thank you very much.